from Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the indices in the U.S. This is the S&P 500. You can see we've collapsed again. We're down about 8% in the futures market. Um, really, at this point, I think what we're looking at is a scenario where the market is probably going to head into the weekend and throw a tantrum again. Um, just ask yourself this question. Would you want to come in and buy futures contracts heading into the weekend? Very unlikely. Most people that are going to be buying are probably going to be covering short positions. Now, that's not to say that we can't rally. It's just that I doubt we rally with conviction. 2700 above should be a selling opportunity. If we break 2500 that does open up the door down to 2350 Biggest problem with these contracts, this and the NASDAQ 100, is that you could wake up Monday morning, limit down, and not being able to get out. That has happened to a lot of traders this past um, couple of sessions. So uh, the last thing you want to do is find yourself in a situation where you can't escape a bad position that's only getting worse. So at this point, I think the NASDAQ 100 is probably going to ask questions to 7,000. I would expect to bounce somewhere in that area. Again, though, any rally at this point is short covering. Eventually, we will get an investable once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and really, that's a phrase that shouldn't be used anymore. It's about once every 10 years now, uh, but we see these big, massive sell-offs and then, you know, action like this. So, with that in mind, uh, I'm patiently waiting for that sign. I don't see it yet.